happening everybody? This is Phil from Epic Surf News. I'm going to give you an update for July 4th and July 5th. Uh, July 4th, let's go ahead and start off with uh, Happy 4th of July to everybody. Uh, check out this video clip here of some people down at Dana Point, friends of mine, uh, having a blast, water wars with all the rest of the people out in the harbor. We still going to the So for July 5th, I want to talk about J-Bay, uh, World Surf League had a World Tour event there and it's Philippe Toledo that basically took that crown uh, from Wade Carmichael who was a runner-up in the event. Uh, there was a lot of good action, the waves were actually pretty fun looking, uh, overhead, uh, barreling in some cases with a lot of aerial options as well. Uh, Philippe Toledo, uh, check out his round four heat where he's just toying doing like 180, 360, whatever you want to call them, little, you know, ollies, 180 ollies down the face of the wave. I mean, basically getting dizzy. So check that heat out. Also go back, check out the final heat against Wade Carmichael. There was a bunch of action in that one. I'm not going to show you the clip today because uh, powers that be, YouTube, World Surf League, uh, some of our videos are starting to get flagged uh, for incorporating some of those clips, even though we're doing it in a fair use uh, news type format. Uh, hopefully it's just YouTube automation uh, kind of catching some things and World Surf League is going to go ahead and release it like they have in the past. Uh, at the same time, there's been some drama with uh, Beach Grit and Chaz Smith and a certain Instagram uh, account called Reports from Hell that sounds like maybe World Surf League is flagged because they were critical of this Facebook transition where you know they went from webcasting directly and through other various formats. Uh, or media outlets and then now switching overnight to Facebook which has left a lot of people out in the cold who can't see the webcast or people who are doing it but really aren't liking the whole environment of having to be on Facebook uh, and everything that comes along with that. So uh, Beach Grit was out there popping off, uh, clown in WSL, uh, it was pretty funny stuff, pretty humorous, actually you know uh, probably fair uh, type criticisms, of course, you know, they got a little dark side on the humor and uh, maybe they ruffled some feathers. Also, uh, last thing I'm going to kind of go over today or show you is going to be uh, just some kind of wind chop waves today over uh, near San Onofre area. Uh, lowers was looking epic. I don't have the footage from that. Uh, this video clip looks a little challenging, but I got to tell you, it was pretty fun. There was a couple waves in the mix and it looks like there's a lot of waves still uh, going to be coming through tomorrow and you know hopefully through the next week as well and come back soon for more action